I've been here since I was a medical student in 1942, and I got a terrific job from Dr. Penfield uh, with room and board upstairs on the old original Rockefeller Pavilion and working in the lab nights and weekends and going to medical school and paid me 50 bucks a month. So <laughs> that was quite a nice way to start off here. Yeah. We were at the center, of course, of in the investigation of patients. And uh, we had a marvelous uh, relationship with, uh, with, all the, with all the staff. Uh, and of course, I was a uh, help uh, tremendously by the uh, director of the time when I became the chief with Dr. Feindale was the director. I had his entire support and uh, we have remained uh, very good friends uh, since. The way he talks to patients, he talks as a surgeon, he talks as a doctor, but then he talks as a friend. And he makes you feel that, don't worry, I mean, even if you if you've got different perspectives about anything that you know you're supposed to face in the hospital, that you can always change your mind. You know, Bill is, he strikes me when I first came up here. Yeah, I learned a lot from watching him because he, he was such a quintessential opportunist when he was director. He still is. He still is. And, uh, but at the same time, quite practical. And if things got in his way, he changed the rules. Bill's enthusiasm uh, for something new inspired you. And he had, had a way of uh, bringing out the best of the people he worked with. Um, I know from my work on instrumentation for medical imaging that he had the same knack with architects who managed to add extra stories to buildings, generous benefactors who made substantial monetary uh, uh, contributions to, to help him realize these goals, and many others as well. You know, Dr. Feindel has uh, really excelled in three things, uh, like a triathlete, really, when I think of his career. Um, of course, first, uh, he's a spectacular neurosurgeon with uh, a reputation around the world. Um, the second is he's a uh, researcher, he's, he's been active not just in clinical care but in research his whole career. And thirdly, he's a, he was a spectacular administrator and inspiring leader. Um, and in, in fact, not just a triathlete, I think when we look at the total body of your work, I think you, know, you have to consider you a, an Ironman triathlete. Uh, on that foyer, written there in Greek, it says, related to the fact that I have seen, I have seen a brain heal. Bill has helped the healing of many, many brains, both by what he's done as a builder, what he's done as a surgeon, and what he's done as a man. Bill is a man of substance, a real man of substance. Thank you, Bill, for everything you've done. things that you people said about me uh, and uh, it just uh, makes me say what a lucky guy I've been as uh, a person who's been around here for much too long. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm kind of happy that they didn't call it the Findell exit. <laughs> <laughs> So for, for all you've done for us, and continue to do for us, thank you, and enjoy your friends.